You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where tonight we're here at the Alton Towers Resort. We are indeed. So we've come to check out Lightopia, which is back for 2022. It's going to be running on selected dates through until the 2nd of January, and we're really looking forward to seeing this, because last year it premiered here at Alton Towers for the first time, and it was amazing, wasn't it? Was it was just so beautiful to look at. There was just so much going on, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they've done this year. It was really long as well, and I think this year it's going to be even longer. What they've actually done is change the layout for this year and send you through the actual gardens which oh, will be lovely be really nice. cannot wait for that so yeah come and join us as we check out lightopia 2022 here at the alton towers resort now it cost us 15 pounds to book our tickets for lightopia online and yeah it's worth pointing out that it is separate admission from the rides here at alton towers christmas and yeah the entrance is just off to the left here by mutiny bay yeah where you come under the archway just here Hey, here we are then. Merry Christmas. Mum and Dad are here as well. You and us a bit of a sing song. It's the season. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. Are you ready for Lightopia tonight? Yeah, can't wait. Hey, our parents are coming to join us just here. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bit of festive fun. Yeah, we came last year. It's really good, wasn't it? So. Yeah, it's a different layout this year as well. Yeah, we're feeling Christmassy, aren't we? Are. we? Yeah. Bar, that's why. Ah, uh, we had a nice beer, right? We'll make our way down here. We'll make our way down into Lightopia. Yeah, the ticket check area is just here, and we're starting off our route down by Wickham and heading around the park. We are indeed. Looking forward to this. Yeah, can't wait. It was really magical last year. It was. I'm seeing what they've done for this year. Definitely. If you haven't already, check out our vlog from the rest of the event here. Check it out where we check out everything else that Christmas has to offer. Including the Christmas markets yes, and festive is. rides. Here we go then. So you've got the Lightopia sign down here. And yeah, much of this is actually new for 2022. Um, because yeah, last year it was kind of a journey through the seasons. And yeah, for this year, uh, they've completely changed it up into lots of different theme sections. And yeah, we're starting off down here at the back of Mutiny Bay by Wickerman. With this lovely archway just here which is very nice yeah a great photo opportunity i believe some of the items that are on display here for this year we're actually at lightopia in manchester obviously lightopia is an external company that alton towers bring in to do this uh, and yeah i went to the one in manchester last year and covered it over on the sambra adventures so yeah, make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it i mean it was adventure sean back then um but yeah that was a little look through lightopia in manchester so i think some of the bits i'm going to recognize from there you got Wicker Man just over there. I like how they've actually got the flame effects on in Big Bomb's structure just there. I think that really adds to it. Nice to see Bob lit up just there from in the side. You wouldn't even think at first that it was Wicker Man, but yeah, it is obviously with the flames just in the side. We've got the snow globe and the little snowman just out here as well. They're really nice, these. So what they do is actually build like a mesh framework underneath. I think it's like a fabric material that just wraps around and obviously all the lights are on the inside so it's quite simple really obviously when they're on a big scale like this they look really impressive such as these berries just here oh, i like these candles and stars you got just down here with the flowers at the bottom there as well but yeah they look really good it's very effective now these are all done and we're going to head up through katanga canyon down through gloomy wood haunted hollow the gardens and then end by the towers with a water finale at the end you can buy your flashes down here as well near the start of the experience if you want to get your flashes for your journey through lightopia but yeah this looks good over here at katanga here's the alton towers christmas logo and yeah this is cool i like how it's embossed because you've got the trees the snowman on there come around the side just here you realize how it all sticks out embossed like in the back of a globe yeah that looks awesome yeah really nice display and then down here on the water by katanga canyon you got even more this year Christmas tunes are pumping out as well. Hey! Yeah, we've got the deers at the side, the polar bears, the presents. There's even more here this year, Charlotte. I know, but he's my favourite over there. What, the big polar bear yeah, there? I didn't see this one. Yeah, just chilling out. He's not lit up this one here. It is the first night, though. <laughs> In my heart. But the very next day, you gave it away. <laughs> yeah, they've got a lovely treat. That was actually just outside Wickerman last year. So that's the thing, even though it's only back for a second year, it's not identical to last year. They've moved some bits about, changed it up. Here's mum and dad. <laughs> Bit of uh, last Christmas for you. The next day, you gave it away. What do you think to the first part of it? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, great addition to Alton Towers, like Topa. <laughs> We like this polar bear just over here. I think he's really nice. And what really adds to it as well is the cold feeling of it as well. 
I like how the Katanga Canyon signs all lit up. That's awesome. But yeah, I like how you actually got the waterfall in action just along here. Yeah, it's lovely. Christmas music they're playing down here in Gatanga Canyon and yeah I think the waterfall looks brilliant with the lighting on there it should be like that all year when the park's open at night like in October fest, scare fest, fireworks should always be a little like that it looks fantastic oh we've got some nice big flowers just here now wow that's bright look at the size of these these are absolutely huge attached onto the side of Wickerman station building just there as well all I want for Christmas is you <laughs> yeah these are really nice yeah, I love these on the pathway all down here. Yeah, the music's really cool. They're not playing the original versions. However, they're very nice. You're obviously utilising some of the lighting here as well. We make our way down here. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> you! Here we go, better dancing. Hey! <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Music's good, isn't it? You're right, mate. Watch yourself on these rocks. Nemesis rocks, they are. <laughs> oh, these are nice around there. Lovely. Look at this. Yeah, the music's really good. Yeah, very impressive. Even though they're only wire mesh, they all come together and look very nice. Very premium decorations around here. Little toadstools down there as well. <laughs> nice bit of singing and dancing at Alton Towers Christmas. We've got some unicorns just up here. What's really nice about how they set this up is that the lights are all on different elevations as well, utilising the pathways and unique landscape of Alton Towers. Yeah, they're beautiful up there, really colourful as well. Beautiful. And what's really nice is how close you can get to these for photo opportunities as well. It means if you are coming here with kids, you know, you've not got to think about them being too far away. You can get really close. It has a fantastic photo op. So I like the lantern that he's holding there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Probably my favourite one so far. I think the flickering lantern really sets it off there, doesn't it? Should we have some of these in the garden, Charlotte? What do you think? Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice to make. yeah, buy the new shed, maybe. Yeah. Right, we'll make one of me and you out of wire. I like these lights just over here. It's like a very colourful rainbow falling down from the trees. Yeah, beautiful to look at those are. Yeah, it's really different to last year in a good way. Like, you know, even more like to see, yeah, which is great. I love how they've changed it up. They could have brought it back identical to last year. And I think everybody would have been happy, wouldn't they, really? It would have been like a two year thing and then change it on the third year. But to see that they've bought a different one is really good. Yeah, definitely. There's a few bits that were here last year, but most things are new and changed, which is really good to see. We obviously we're here in Katanga Canyon now, yeah, and this is where the Rapids waterfalls used to be just here. You never know, they might come back for 2023. <laughs> Loving all the lively music around here for this year. Yeah, very different. It's really nice, something to sing along to. I don't know how well this is picking up on the camera, but in person it looks amazing. Uh, you've got that big tree just over there in the Rapids queue. They've just got maybe one light shining up at it, but it looks really atmospheric and quite spooky in a way with all the big thick branches. That's a really old tree, that one. Have you got a big lollipop there or something, Charlotte? It's a big love heart just for you. Oh, how romantic. There we go. Cheesy and romantic. Here we go. Love it. Oh, nice big heart. Well, you know what, Charlotte? You've got me one heart just over there. I've got you all these over here. Look at that, arranged specially for you tonight here at Alton Towers. Yeah, these are lovely. Still here in Katanga Canyon. Got some nice atmospheric, romantic music down here. Nice romantic dance from Charlotte. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's the big spooky tree behind the entrance to the Congo River Rapids. And this is completely different to last year, just here where they had a centerpiece in the middle. Got all these big cheats up around here now. There you are. Yeah, I feel <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you enjoying it? Yeah, it's good. 
I think it's one of the best things Alton Towers have ever done, this in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. I really like Lightopia. I think it's something that's really bright and fresh and utilise the park. Yeah, I think they've done a good job. I enjoyed it last year, but, you know, it seemed better this yeah, year. Yeah, just seeing it different. Like, not coming back, seeing the same thing. I think that's our problem with, like, Scarefest and stuff, isn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, it's just so stale. It's the same it's stuff. keep bringing the same stuff back, whereas this, it's changing year upon year, which is good to see. Yeah, like, fantastic. But, yeah, these are nice. They're like big uh, bed sheets just hanging up just here. And you got all the lights. We've got some nice floral displays on there. We've got all the autumn feel just there with the leaves on that side. Some big sunflowers over here. Pizza pasta around there as well. It'd be interesting to see if there's any food halfway around like there was last year in Forbidden yeah, Valley. It was like a coffee stand. Obviously, we're not going through Forbidden Valley this year because of the Nemesis work. So, yeah, it'd be interesting just to see kind of if there is any food at the halfway point as we make our way around. Yeah, we're just here by Runaway Mine Train now as we continue on round towards Gloomy Wood. You got a nice floral display just down here as we make our way out of Katanga Canyon. Yeah, it's the first time we've not heard audio around the experience here. And you know me, I think audio really adds to it. So they could maybe do with some speakers just around this section, just to, for the continuity, you know, connecting the sections. Now, I think I saw these ones in Manchester last year. Well, yeah, these are really nice. Like cocktails that we got down here, very summer feel. Got a surfboard just there as well. Do a bit of surfing if you want, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> Get all the trees lit up very nice around here as well. Bit of a summer feel I think with what's going on around here. It's somewhat cold. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a, bit, you got a bit chilly there. Yeah, it is cold. It was snowing last year if you remember. We're around here, there we go. Really nice feel. Yeah, they completely changed it to last year. Like loads of different things. We had some like animatronic butterflies that they were down here last year in the trees. Last the somewhere else. And some nice floral displays. These are nice. Music down here as well. And obviously we're making our way on the path down to Gloomy Wood. These are nice just over here. Yeah, big cocktails. There we go, like a nice cocktail here at Theme Park Worldwide. I like the soundtrack around here as well. Yeah, they're very pretty, really nice. Yeah, you just don't recognise much of the park, you know, when you come around there, it's like, it's crazy. Really transforms it. Yeah, this is lovely, all the floral displays walking down here. Loads of tulips at the side. Can't see any work happening in the jewel queue line just over there yet, but I'd imagine we'll do any of that after Christmas in the run up to the main season in March. Some flowers are very pretty around here in the trees as well. Really pretty these are and they're so bright as well. They're gorgeous. Love the floral section down here, and yeah, as we can see, the property has still been repossessed down here. Jewel, the haunted house strikes back, closed at the end of summer, and yeah, we can see no further changes yet to the facade, but we'll get more updates as we can, obviously, with it being a dark ride transformation, and the show building's already up, everything's happening on the inside of that building, so we can't really see a lot, but uh, yeah, keeps the mystery there with that one, doesn't it? We have got a little spooky section down here as well, where we've got the Scarefest characters out just here. I know what Charlotte's gonna say. I love this bat down here. I liked here. him last year and he's come back. Yeah, this is really nice what? spooky section. Do you know who we're missing here? Go on. Where's Patch? Main man. Where's the main man? <laughs> main man, they're all here other than Patch. Like, I think we said this last year, didn't we? Here's the little speakers though, what they put out for Lightopia. Yeah, these are nice. Animatronic just here as well. Nice bit of movement. It's the first one we've seen with some movement. But yeah, all buried off down here. No other work has took place yet. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? De Los Murtos style. Big uh, spider's web just on there as well. Yeah, nice. Oh, is it supposed to be a... Um, what, oh, what do you call them now? What music comes from? Gramophone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it? Gramophone. There you go. Yeah, this looks really spooky around here. Very nice. Lots to look at. Loads of details. All the candles just here. I remember some of these from last year. And there we go, Jewel. It would have been nice actually seeing the facade lit up still behind there. I think that would have added to it actually. Loads to look at around here, which is great. You've got all the books going there, the witch's hat. Obviously, you've got the spells that are taking place around here with all the potions. The spider climbing up the building there. Yeah, loads going on in this scene. Probably my favourite scene so far actually. That looks really nice. And yeah, the Dead Los Murtos style continues here. Oh, mouth just opened there. It's a little animatronic. 
It's quite nice. What we got going on just over here? Oh yeah, there we go. It's all following that kind of Mexican style with these. But yeah, this is where the layout differs to last year because obviously before we went to the left down through Forbidden Valley. Yep. Heading down towards Haunted Hollow just here now and that's obviously because of the work that's taking place on Nemesis. Can't get anybody down there closer but if you do want to see Nemesis and part of the track coming out. Well, check out our vlog from a couple of days ago. Uh, we got some epic footage of the Nemesis deconstruction. So yeah, make sure you watch that here on our YouTube channel. Filmed a dedicated vlog for that one. But yeah, we're gonna make our way down this way now into Haunted Hollow. So yeah, a little bit different from last year. Wow, look at this. So yeah, there's loads to see from here. And yeah, all the trees lit up as well. This is beautiful. Probably my favorite scene so far keep saying that don't I but yeah it gets even better got some big flip-flops down here some big sandals for you to wear there you go mum I'll be able to do it for Tenerife yeah <laughs> get you back to Siam Park shall we how about that get you back on the dragon at Siam Park no way. she's going I'm on again I'm not going, yeah, going on again on. ready and waiting for you next year there we go <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen the vlog you got to check that out earlier this year when I went to Tenerife yeah we went to Siam Park for the day fantastic water park one of the best in the world actually and yeah we had some big rides mum did well going on those I'd not done them before either so yeah it was one of those that uh, yeah I didn't really know what they were going to be like but it was pretty epic Are the squirrels just here I like, them. I like how they got the little twizzles in the trees at the back there they look good it's nice i think because of the elevation of this pathway it looks really cool to see in all these with the squirrels they had these last year the squirrels but they're in a different place yeah these are lovely and that's the thing with these lighttopia scenes they don't just put one thing out there's so much to look at in one scene like all the little details when you really break it down like the first thing you see is the big squirrel then at the back the little finishers then down here you got the acorns all the leaves yeah you know, there's just so much to each scene they really think about the placements of it all which is very good beautiful with the music as well really enchanting magical experience i definitely recommend lightopia to anyone i think it's a really good event 15 pounds as well there we go creeping behind just there there we go charlotte's like reminds me of you <laughs> why why is it right just because you like what peeking around trying yeah. to scare you or something in the house yeah <laughs> the big fox is just down here as well there we go here's charlotte then thinking oh can we get some more food <laughs> We got the little baby squirrel just down oh, here as nice, well. Oh, yeah, I love the squirrels. Really nice and fits with Alton Towers. Makes me miss uh, Squirrel Nutty. What's that? There's a goat. It's not a goat. <laughs> hey, uh, I, uh, no, I think you need some new glasses, maybe. Yeah, that's a goat just over there. That, that's not a goat. It's a squirrel, that is. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's it. no outtakes on this channel. Yeah, it's, I think that's a big stag. I don't think it's a goat, is it? <laughs> I think it's a stag. Let's go and have a look. The old stag. I think you should cut that. Uh, no, nah, it's staying in. <laughs> this is another one that I don't know how well it's really shown up on the camera, but looks amazing in person. It's like a star cluster green laser that's just spinning round in the trees up there. It's on a really big scale as well. It looks very magical. Oh, we got a nice big heart just here. In fact, there's not one. There's two of them. There's another one just over here as well. Oh, Lovely hearts as we make our way down to the goats just here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're funny. Some funny looking goats, they are, aren't they? There you go. They're very nice, though. Big reindeers, stags, whatever you'd like to call them. I like the parrots, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the parrots up there in the trees. Nice. That's what's great about this. It's not just stuff down on a low level, they have some bits higher up as well, like the parrots. Squat! There we go. Which one's your favourite goat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're really pretty, they are. Lovely. They're definitely not goats, are they, Charlotte? Definitely not. The goat expert over here, the goat whisperer. Yeah, the goat whisperer. <laughs> so you got the gargles that are lit up down here as well. Obviously, these are standard features down here in Haunted Hollow. No matter when you visit Alton Towers, but yeah, they've got them lit up for Lightopia down here. They've got some owls down here as well. A nice collection of owls here at Alton Towers. Oh, I like this big one just here. Lovely owl. Oh, that's a nice scene. Cause you've actually got the moon just behind it there as well. That really sets the mood for that. That's lovely. 
More beautiful scenes just over here with the pheasants and birds. Some more nice floral displays down here as well and all the branches. It's lovely. They do such a brilliant job with this event. Really nice. We have a nice giraffe here. Is it a giraffe or is it going to be a zebra or something? Like, <laughs> all right, okay. To be honest, I thought it was a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> Some more parrots down there as well. They're nice. I like the parrots. Them, them two that were flying up were, were my favourites. A little bit further back up in the trees. Nice baby giraffe. Yeah. Oh, the giraffes are nice, aren't they? There we go. Oh, we got flamingos on this side as well. There we go. Flamingo land comes to Alton Towers just there. Lovely pink flamingos just here and a lovely display so obviously you did come down haunted hollow last year but you went down to forbidden valley first and then connected up down here onto the hollow but yeah obviously we're going through the gardens this year so i'm probably thinking it's a little bit of a longer layout so definitely a longer layout than last year because you you may know, cut that little bit off in forbidden valley that's only a small section compared to down in the gardens where we're going to be going shortly and heading down that way yeah these are nice i like how he's facing like looking up at the path the natural area of Alton Towers really makes this. I mean, I went to like Topia in Manchester and it was very good, but obviously a lot of it isn't really in the trees and stuff, whereas here, it, things just look a lot more natural in the environment here, in my opinion. Such as him, Jerry the Giraffe, just there. Oh, it's walking through the very bright light on this day. Really nice, very bright. Look at this. There we go, utilising the archways here in Alton Towers. Oh, it's very nice. You enjoying it so far? Yeah, they've done a really good job. It's nice to see change every year which is nice. I think it's actually better than last year already yeah, I think really it good. flows better in my Definitely. opinion all the scenes seem better laid out there's a lot more good. new stuff to look at which is even better yeah well. most things are new to be honest exactly. there's only a few repeat things really from, from last year see. yeah some lovely new LED strips down here they're really bright great for vlogging <laughs> look at the romance just there holding hands yeah <laughs> oh it's a fantastical photo spot just here oh, oh here we go. <laughs> Oh, look at this! Oh, a little dance. These are nice. These were actually hanging down last year. Oh, they look good. Yeah, you're all right there. What? Yeah. <laughs> so I was just saying, you look romantic there. Are you, yeah, you're enjoying the music there. Oh, oh big gorilla. There he is. God, you, you can nearly miss the gorilla as you walk past just there. Yeah, they're, they're lovely. They are. A lovely waltz there. Oh, we got some more nice lights down here. These are really bright on the These side. Good, yeah, I like those. How they do strips. Here we go. We got some more elephants, elephants just down there. Uh, elephants. Yeah. There we go. Down there at the bottom. They're nice. What's great about these is how they kind of set a little bit further down on the slope there as well. And these are just some fancy plants at the top, I think, just here, aren't they? Not fancy pants, fancy plants that they got just here. There you go. Yeah, they look lovely. Really nice with the elephants just down there. Some very classical music. This music is very Alton Towers. I like this. Oh, this is the sort of music that yeah fits the towers. Lovely. This is new for this year. Oh, look at this proper light tunnel. This is really bright. I feel like this is a great photo opportunity. Actually, let's take one. Of course, make sure you give us a follow on our social media channels. You can see the link down below in the video description. Oh, it's lovely. This is yeah. It's took a nice photo down there. I like how the colours change as we get further down here as well. Goes this nice kind of neon look, and then down here into the green as well. Really dazzling these down here. Oh, blimey! Really bright. I like that tunnel, Charlotte. Yeah, that's really oh, good. Really dazzling they were down there. Yeah, what a lovely scene that is. There you go. There's mum and dad. There you go. They look very festive there. Yeah, it's nice. So we've got the lioness and the lions just down here as well as we can see on this lovely scene. Off to the left. But well, yeah, fun fact for you. This actually used to be home to a railway down here back in the day. It's where the Parks Railroad used to run down here. Really nice. Charlotte's doing a bit of dancing now. Loads of dancing in this vlog. I love this classical music. It's just so Alton Towers, this. Lovely. Really nice. Oh, are we hanging up just over here? Yeah, I didn't spot them at first. Oh, they're really nice. Yeah, really pretty. Like little light up balls that we've got just up there. I like that. Yeah, very pretty. And we've got a big monkey down here as well. Cheeky monkey. We've got a monkey in the tree just up there. There he is. Do you need to just stick a rock? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. Or a big German sausage or something. Yeah, is it a big like brat verse? I don't know. Maybe it's a big German sausage. I'm not sure. I like the monkey. We've got another awesome light tunnel here as well. These are 
Nice, funky music down here. There we go. Having a selfie, are you? <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Hey. Ever a selfie moment? Lovely. You done it? There you go. Don't want to get in the background. These are bright. These strips. Blimey. I like this funky music. Nice, this is round here. I like it. a bit steampunk, you know. Look at all, we got some penguins round here now. Empire penguins. Oh, we got some rabbits over here as well. Right then, so I believe we're nearly at the halfway point just here now. Yeah, you've got a couple of little food stands just over here, so we'll show you those. If you are coming to Lightopia, just so you know what food's available when you get round to this point. And yeah, this is also before you head down into the gardens themselves. Because obviously there's quite a few changes of elevation when you get down there. Yeah, let's go and have a look down here at the food offering. There we go, so yeah, you've just got the little food truck down here as well, doing hot chocolates, a few sweet treats on there as well. But yeah, it's really nice with the vintage car. As we continue on, down into the main part of the gardens now. Here we go then, these are some new ones for this year I believe, just here. These are lovely, like the little umbrellas on the side. Some big tentacles, yeah, just over here as well. But yeah, obviously we'll let you know about the different surfaces as well as we're making our way round. Because obviously we're heading into the gardens now, so there's probably going to be steps and things down here, but we'll show that and let you know if you are coming down here. These are just some big octopus tentacles, I think, just here, coming out. Is the head there? No, they're all just tentacles coming out from the side. I'm not sure. But yeah, these are nice. Remember this scene from last year? That's the thing, because I went to like Topa in Manchester. Can't remember which ones I saw there and which ones I saw here at Alton Towers. Yeah, they're nice. The umbrellas. I do love the music around here. There we go. Is that an angel up there? Is it some sort of angel? I'm not too sure. Oh, look at the big rabbit. And we got the emojis. Just here as well. Oh, look at all the sweeties just over here. Here we go, we got lollipops, all sorts around here. There you go. This looks great, obviously with the house just here, the cottage, someone used to live in there. Fun fact for you. Down here in the Alton Towers Gardens. Yeah, these look cool. All the sweets just here. I like how there's some just on the hedge up there as well. A massive lollipop by the front door. Yeah, this is like dream house right here in Alton Towers. I can see the Easter Bunny just over here. There he is. Nice big blue Easter Bunny. All the Easter eggs around here. It's a nice scene. Yeah, it's a little bit seasonal. This section just here again. This was actually a big Halloween house last year from what I remember. Halloween scene. Come on. A big strawberry. Oh, there we go. I love strawberries. Oh, there you go. Nice strawberries, we've got some melons up there, watermelons, look at this, donuts just here as well. All sorts. Oh, that cake looks good. Oh, and you know, oh, you've got some macarons over there at the back, some popcorn, some fries with a face on, a burger down here as well. Burger and chips, as we can see down here, there you go. <laughs> oh, just over here. And yeah, this is where we've got a layout change again. So last year, Obviously this was the end of this section, and to be honest, we're right near the end of the experience now. If you remember, we went down that pathway and back up towards the water show finale last year. So yeah, we was nearly at the end, but instead, we're heading down further into the gardens. Yeah, we've got some 3D glasses there, a big cupcake. Yeah, the scenes are really nice. It's even better this year than last year, I think. I like him just down here, he's quite nice, isn't he? As we make our way into this area. So what Alton Towers did previously was similar to Scarefest. They had the garden lights, walk twinkling stars. And yeah, well, they've actually stopped that for this year and brought Lightopia down here instead, which I think is probably the right move. I think people were getting a bit confused last year having twinkling stars, which was just the light walk through, which is lovely, um, but without, you know, Lightopia heading down there. So I think it's probably better how it is this year. And yeah, I'm loving these just here. Nice big pretzels, the pretzel family. Just there, here at Alton Towers. 
So yeah, I think it got a bit confusing because guests were like, hang on a minute, what? We've got two light trails going on. Um, one of them was included with rides, one of them wasn't. It was all a bit confusing, whereas this year it's a lot more streamlined. And of course, it makes use even more of the gardens because you wouldn't head down this path at all at night uh, normally, even during the Scarefest. Uh, walk through the do whispering souls this pathway that we're on now isn't open so yeah this is nice i like the big palm trees actually makes me think oh summer don't get me wrong but i do love winter but yeah summer oh there we go you can just see the corkscrew fountain lit up just there as well nice how they've lit that up for this year do you like the corkscrew i've just seen a little preview of what's to come looks like we've got some big set pieces coming up and obviously we know the finale has got this big dragon out the front of the towers as well i'm looking forward to that these are nice so we're making our way now towards the garden conservatories in fact you can just see them there with the lights reflecting into the windows but yeah here's a look at these big trees these are nice well the candles just over there that was a bit burnt out that candle <laughs> Yeah, these are nice. In terms of footwear and what to wear, obviously most of it is on proper pathways. However, this area here is more just soil with some rocks on. So bear that in mind if you are coming. Got this nice little cat just down here as well. Little Cheshire cat, is that just here? I think so. I'm not really a cat expert. <laughs> but yeah, this is lovely. Really nice scene just around here in the Alton Towers Gardens. Yeah, it's lovely. Conservatories are looking fantastic here. It does, yeah, there we go. And you got this lovely floral display. Yeah, I'm surprised they're not sending us down through the U arches actually, but they have got them lit up. So at least you can appreciate them from the top just here, which is nice. Yeah, I thought they'd have walked through there, but then obviously you want to keep it as accessible as they can do as well. This would mean the route goes down steps. So yeah, as far as I'm aware then, there is no steps um, or really steep ramps throughout the route. So yeah, worth bearing that in mind. Accessibility wise, that's really good. You coming down here? This is nice. Oh, we got a bit of the greatest showman as well. There you go. Yeah, there's the U arches. Let's look beautifully down there. Never, never. <laughs> With the greatest never showman. For me, for me. Oh, this is nice. Never, never. There we go. Them lights look awesome down there. And here's a look at the garden conservatories. Oh, oh that looks beautiful. We got some mirror balls just inside there. This is lovely. That's absolutely beautiful with the mirror balls all hanging up just inside there. That's gorgeous. What a really nice scene. The music as well, amazing down here. Must do a couple of different songs. Yeah, these are lovely. Really impressed with this scene just here. My favorite so far, utilizing the garden conservatories. Yeah, this looks good down here. Like my dad just said, it reminds him of Back to the Future. <laughs> It's really nice. What do you think to this? Oh, this looks stunning, doesn't it? Yeah. Really nice. Like, the trees, the mirror balls, just fantastic. I'd definitely take this over walking just around that little bit of Forbidden Valley. I think this is a lot better coming through here. Yeah, these scenes are gorgeous here. I'll give it to someone special. Shame we can't film the Christmas spectacular down here, isn't it, really? Yeah. Would have been nice, that, wouldn't it? Here we go. We've had a lot of people asking about the Christmas Spectacular. Well, it is coming up Christmas Eve, 7 o'clock, here on Theme Park Worldwide. Stay tuned for a quiz and lots of singing and dancing along the way as well. But yeah, this is lovely down here. It's done a good job with the conservatories. Very nice with the mirror balls just there. They're only attached to scaffolding, but it looks really effective, that does. Here we go. Look at this. Proper funky disco. That'd be a good experience, actually, wouldn't it, if they did a little disco just inside there? Well, I was talking a little bit about accessibility and obviously the fact there was no steps so far. There is some steps just here. However, do not worry. They've actually put in a little lift just there as well. So yeah, it comes off the pathway just here. And there you go, you got the lift just to take you up if you're in a wheelchair up onto this top section. There you go. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's good how the thought of that. It means obviously it's everybody can come down here and experience it. So yeah, you've got the wheelchair access. Just a little temporary lift they've put in. Just here, I mean, these are the only steps on the whole route, I believe. But yeah, it's just a nice little thing there that they've done, meaning that everybody can come down here and experience it. But yeah, I bet this is quite a nice view, actually, looking back at them white lights just down there. Yeah, it looks amazing, that does. Really impressed. More lovely archways just here as well. I feel like the lights are even brighter this year. Yeah, these LEDs, fantastic. As we continue on around here in the Alton Towers Gardens, looks like we've got a bit of a show with some music going on 
just up here. So yeah, last year they had a little show scene that was located down by the main drive Skyride station in Forbidden Valley. And obviously the route doesn't go around that way this year. Um, so yeah, they've obviously brought the little show down here into the gardens. But I think this is really nice. I think these look as good as anything just down the path at the side actually. Really enchanting, very magical experience if you can hear jingle bells in the background it's, it's charlotte just here there we go if you haven't seen our alton towers christmas vlog make sure you check it out from yesterday yeah, having a bit of a there we go you got the little bells just there oh, as well indeed. which is nice there we go what we got going on just over here behind this tree there we go it's hard to really explain what that is and what's going on there well ask mum because she knows a lot about these sort of things she's the expert <laughs> It's a goat. Yeah. <laughs> is it a goat? I'm not sure what it is. No, I couldn't tell you what that is. I mean, I love Christmas, but it looks. It's some sort of plant growing in like Yeah, a... it is some sort of plant. It, it is a plant it's inside. A plant yeah, there's growing. some. Yeah, there's some leaves on the inside there. Is that, I thought that was a candle in the middle at first, I but. I think it's a triffid. It looks like. Oh, what? A triffid. You what? never heard of triffids? What's one of them? <laughs> It's a plant that walks about and eats people. Oh, right. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'll tell you what, I think this scene's going to be nice just around here. Let's make our way around. I think it's a shame how they haven't got the early Shrewsbury lit up just down here, especially with Alton Towers and their heritage. Obviously, we know from past events that unfortunately the park don't seem to care about the heritage at the moment with the towers have been open for a month of the year tops which is a shame but yeah I think it's a shame that the Earl isn't lit up just over there I think that would have been a nice little fitting tribute to the location where we're at but uh, let's hope next year we actually get into the towers before August oh, I'd like to hope so. well I hope so with how it's been this year I don't know but we'll see what happens but yeah shame about that it could be lit up so we're making our way now round to this big show scene that overlooks the gardens and here we go, look at this. I feel like this is an instrumental version of some Disney songs playing just around here. Oh, we got a laser down there. There we go, that is lovely. Oh, what's the scene? Oh, wow. I just wasn't expecting it to look as good as that, but that is absolutely fantastic. How about that, Charlotte? That's beautiful. Oh, wow, from when we were down off to the left there, it didn't look like there was that many lights shining in that direction, but you know what? That looks amazing, that does. It reminds me of an old postcard that I saw in the archives when I worked here at Alton Towers. Obviously, I used to look after the archives as part of our team. And yeah, in there, there's an old photo. Oh, it's gone off. Here we go. Hey, <laughs> a bit of Abba, a dancing queen. Well, yeah, there's an old photo with loads of lights down here in the gardens that looks like that. That's beautiful, that is. What a scene. Wow, really colourful as well. Quite a few different tracks. This plays like a short down version of each track as well. And then move on to the next one. Yeah, you got the lasers down there at the bottom. All these trees lit up. Yeah, this is definitely the highlight of Lightopia and probably the highlight of Alton Towers Christmas, to be honest. In my opinion, I think that looks absolutely brilliant. Here we go, there's the laser in action just there. We've got another song coming on just here. <laughs> Well, I thought that show was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, it's about a seven, eight minute sequence, I'd say, there with loads of different tracks. We've got the nice snails just here as well. Two hedgehogs having a little smoochy smoochy just there. And yeah, we've got the watering cans. These were in Katanga Canyon last year. Yeah, the watering cans just up there on the bridge, which look brilliant. We've got this very whimsical tree just here that's actually interactive. So you can see you can actually touch the drums just there. And then yeah, it sends that colour of the drum up the tree, which is quite a nice little thing. Here we go, Charlotte. Oh, my mum's going on. Here we go. Give us a bang of the bongos. That's it. And that's drums. I should be doing that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that colour actually comes out and goes up the tree. Yeah, that's really cool. There you go, Charlotte. You can bang the bongos now. There you go. That's fantastic. Really like that. Here we go, you got the little mushrooms at the side and yeah, you got like one of the timers just there that you turn upside down as well as we make our way up here to the grand finale now with the Alton Towers Ruins. Now I remember seeing this humongous dragon last year at Lightopia in Manchester. Well this year it's got an absolutely amazing backdrop of the Towers Ruins just there and I've got to say it looks incredible. Wow. 
Well, I think that looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, it shows up better in person. I mean, the dragon's amazing on camera still. But yeah, the towers, obviously with this being so bright in front, doesn't pick up the towers as well behind it. Maybe it would have been better if the towers were lit up a little bit brighter, just so it shows up a bit better on people's photos and cameras. But here in person, it looks amazing. And all the crystals there in the floor as well. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. And here we go then. This year, they've actually spun the water screen around on the lake. And once again, it looks even better from this side. That's the thing we like, Topia. It's all been better than last year, apart from one thing. There's no toilets around the route, which they do need to look at. Yeah, this is lovely. Wow, really magical. I think you've got the lights there just behind as well on the lake. There's the angel. Yeah, this is lovely. I'll get a bit of footage of the show just here. Well, back on Tower Street then now after Lightopia with my wonderful parents just uh, did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was good. Really good that was. Yeah, it was really nice. nice. So, I liked it. Yeah, lots yeah. to see. Different route for this year yeah, as well. I think it's better than last year, I think. Yeah, especially the scene over the gardens, which was nice. I like the little dance we did. Oh, there you go. But uh, here we go. Great to see mum and dad again as well. Make sure you head over to the Sandbrook Adventures where you can see more of dad and more of mum as I went to Birmingham Christmas markets. That's coming up as well. So stay tuned for that. But uh, always good to see you here at Alton Towers. There we go. And that wraps up our vlog here from Lightopia. Well, I tell you what, I feel like they've done a fantastic job with all the scenes this year for Lightopia. I really enjoyed it. There was a lot of new stuff, a lot of new lights. I think they've done a great job and I really like the new route. I think the change of route has really improved, Definitely. actually. Heading you through the gardens with the conservatories, I think that's really nice. It feels so much more longer. Yeah, definitely. I think overall, everything's so much better with the lasers as well in the gardens. There's a lot going that on. That was a great scene that was by the conservatories. Yeah, I thought that was really um, good. And then, yeah, standing at the top, looking down over the wonderful gardens. We got one bit of feedback what isn't as good as last year. I know, because of how long the route is, there's no toilets on the route and I feel yeah. like there needs to be some sort of toilets open. Make sure you go to the toilet before you yeah. head on that route because, uh, yeah, there's no toilets. There Obviously, isn't. last year, uh, I think the Gloomy Wood ones were open or if not those, the ones at Skyride Main yeah, Drive were. nothing this year. Yeah, no loos all the way around. So, yeah, definitely. Especially it's a, about an hour to a 90-minute walk, especially if you're filming, taking photos. Bear it in mind. You could walk it in about half an hour if you wanted to, but you want to take it in, get in the immersive yeah, experience. The yeah, definitely. Overall then, that's definitely the highlight of Alton Towers Christmas. Make sure you check out yesterday's vlog from the rest of the Christmas event featuring the rides, uh, the street entertainment and yeah, uh, just capturing the atmosphere of the event. And of course, prior to that, the uh, Nemesis Retrack oh, as well. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, three Alton Towers vlogs in a row, three completely different things going on. And yeah, it's nice to see lots of activity happening here at the local park at the moment as well. Lots more coming up. We're actually heading to Drayton Manor next for their Christmas event, followed by Warwick Castle. We're back in Blackpool. A lot and then we've got our trip going to oh, Europe. I can't wait. Yeah, really excited to visit Fantasyland, Europa Park, and Efteling. But here from Alton Towers Christmas, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep on riding. riding. See you all in tomorrow's vlog.